Welcome back, members of the Wolf Pack. We are back here with another episode. Of last episode, Ryoma was a historical figure. He's actually one of Japan's national heroes since he was a significant part in the closing out the Edo area of the Shogunate and bringing in the Meiji area era. So he was a huge part in that. And he died in 1867. Right now we're in 1868. So we'll see what's supposed to happen for him. We'll see if he's still alive just because he's in game or if he that's he, he's actually married to her in real life. Well he was married to her in real life. I heard about Ryoma. Mm -hmm. That man had a certain way about him. It was impossible to not let your guard down once he really got going. That's a good thing, mind you. Made things seem just a little brighter. Yeah, I think he's dead now. That's why I hoped he'd be able to get both sides of this war on the same page. Now that that's fallen through, it's like the world has changed. People want blood. A real fight is all but inevitable. <sighs> so Ryoma was attacked by the Demon Claw Samurai. Who exactly are they to you, anyway? Well, obviously, that part didn't really happen in life, but Ryoma was instrumental in bringing together the Satsuma and the uh, Koshu uh, clans so they can unite against the other folks. Hmm. Warriors trained in pairs to bring down the Shogunate. No wonder they seemed so intent on reducing this country to ash and rubble. You and your partner are quite different, aren't you? I'd hazard that's due to Ryoma's influence, possibly mine. Anyway, I see now that your bond is a strong one indeed. But you will have to bring this to an end one day. This tattoo is an eye placement, so I can't even bend my elbow like I need to without it like rubbing and stuff. Has already begun, which means the Demon Claw is bound to turn up soon. You must be ready for anything. We do this for Ryoma too. Hold on. You do what you need to do. Till next time. There's some 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 tape. I need some tape right quick. Give me a second, y'all. Could have sworn I had tape in my backpack. So there it is. I must always keep tape in my backpack. Give me a second. I need to tape this daggone stuff down on my arm so that way this my tattoo can stop rubbing against everything because this is fresh I literally just got it yesterday and I don't want it like rubbing off it's in a weird place which is funny because I got one on the back of my knee like two days but two days two days ago as well and that one is not rubbing anywhere near as much as this one that's like on the front side of my elbow <laughs> that front bend increase of your elbow basically your arm i can't say your armpit but like that uh, what is this head to the revolutionary army base head to the shogunite base is, is this a pick between the two type of quests like i, I don't want to do that Or is this a, a double-headed quest? Like, what is this? Let's see what's going on. Ryoma, and even Nagoko, gone. I shouldn't have left you to see him alone. Mm -hmm. We should have gone together. If he hadn't got the Satsuma and the Choshu to join forces, we'd never have come so far. But I fear the Satsuma have shown nothing but ingratitude. You know the situation already, I presume. The time for talk is over. Battle is inevitable. Japan cannot be changed. Our purposes may not be perfectly aligned. But considering the Shinsengumi's numbers, we need as many allies as we can muster. Mm. 
Please help us fight the Tokugawa. Hold on. Of course. So I'm assuming if I go over here, they're gonna want me to fight this the uh whatchamacallit. Which is cool because Ieyasu Tokugawa was the dude. So Hideyoshi, uh, no, we know everybody knows about uh, Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda, who died at Hinojo Castle and whatnot. He was burnt by uh, Mitsuhide Azuchi, who betrayed them and stuff and burned them up. And, and then Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi Hashibana, who turned to Hideyoshi Toyotomi, or Toyotomi Hideyoshi, however you want to say his name, he he took over from there and he actually united Japan. And his rival was Ieyasu Tokugawa. And the Tokugawa Shogunite, I think, ruled from that point on with the United Japan. And that's probably why that guy now, who's Tokugawa, is the one leading the Shogunite. Here. I'm sure you know. But the time to face down the rebels has come. We may outnumber them. But we cannot underestimate our foe. We've both watched each other's backs in battle. Our bond is strong. Which is why I want to ask again. Please, fight alongside us with the Shinsengumi. Yeah, see, I gotta pick a side. Let me think about this. Give me a second. See, a, a, a part of me wants to go ahead and fight with the Shinsengumi. Only because I, be, I believe in opening up Japan, too. Like, I don't believe in with... Uh, the Koshi stand for where they're, they're streaming uh, measures and stuff like that. But the game obviously want made you have a tighter bond with the Koshi so you feel bad about fighting against them and killing them. I don't, because for one, I treat it like a game. And for two, like in history, the Koshi's going to get squashed anyways. But I just don't see, like, Ryoma still kind of wanted to side with the Koshi, but he st also still wanted to invert his parliament in to make it so that yeah the tokugawa can still be in power but they don't need to be a shogunite it should be almost like a democratic type of leadership but he can still be like the president basically or something like that that the head figure but he shouldn't have all the power to the point where he makes all the decisions and everybody bows to him in that type of area like it should be discussed between the people and whatnot so it's kind of weird because they're all they're kind of like yeah we don't mind tokugawa being and power, we don't want him to have all the power. Like, we want to reform it in a different way. And that's, that's why I don't really know what I want to do. Like, do I, do I want to help the, the Shishengomi to open up the borders? Or do I want to help the uh, the Koshi to fight against them? But at the same time, if I, if I help the Koshi to fight against them, too, my, my Blade Twin is supposed to be trying to assassinate the Shogunite as well. And go against it. I think I'm going to go with the Koshi. Just because of their, their them wanting to reform Japan. And not because of the bond, but I want to do the reformation too. I don't know if they plan on doing the reform. Ah, forget that. I'm just I'm already here, so I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go with them. Please. Fight. My deepest thanks. With you at our side, no one can stand up to our might. I mean that's true. His I'm, bids us I'm like twenty men. Might, that we may sue for peace on our tongues. You would assault the enemy headquarters. Best of luck. Yeah, Once we emerge I'm victorious, my, my friends. we'll be heroes one and all. Now, well, my used to we be friends. fight. I need to clean my shoes after my afternoon gym session, which is in three hours. It is an honor to fight alongside such renowned samurai. 
We've been expecting you. My name is Kondo, of the Shinsengumi. My Denshudai troops have finished training and are ready for battle. Everyone! The Imperial Court has finally decreed that the Shogunate be abolished. Now, we are the Royalists, and the Tokugawa, the Rebels! Yes. That doesn't make sense. We have righteousness on our side. Our enemy is nothing but a disorderly rebel. The revolutionist army, led by the Chōshū and the Satsuma, squared off against the Shogunate forces. And so the curtain rose on the Bushin War. Okay, and see now that's now that's different. Because now it seems like the Shinsengami are fighting to keep the Shogunite, and that's not what I'm for. Like now I feel like I want to go back. Oh, this battle. I'm gonna get a trophy for this battle. The battle of Tobi and Fushimi, because that, that was a trophy. But now now I feel conflicted because I want to open up Japan, and now from what they're just saying. The emperor came down and said, hey, there will be no more shogunite, abolish it. And now they're trying to say, so that's what we're fighting for. So now them, since they are, they're fighting to keep the shogunite in power, now they are the enemies. And now they are the ones that's not doing what's supposed to be done. Like now they need to go down. And it's like, that's right. That's, you're not wrong. You're not wrong with that statement at all. But something's not right. <laughs> Something's not right here. Um, Let's see. I haven't had that ninja on my team in a quite a minute. I, I, but I know for a fact I've had the ninja on my team. Because I remember picking him as soon as I got him, as soon as, I, as, soon as he, was, he was playable. I don't think I have too many quests left Let's to go. go. Five formidable foes? Oh, this, this probably might be a long battle. Five formidable foes. I'll take him out first. See, that's 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 the annoying thing. Like I said before, like that, that's that's so annoying that he's able to hit me as I'm hitting him. Like, bro, I'm, you're trying to blow out fire. I'm in front of you, slicing you with a sword, and somehow you are still able to blow out fire. That that makes no sense. Oh, I'm about to shoot this at them people. Oh, why didn't they? Why didn't they fire? Is that an enemy? Was that somebody on my team? All right, somebody on my team. <laughs> That's not that's not even a formidable guy and he was his health was high. I don't even see any formidable foes yet. Usually you would see at least one on by now. But they they, they usually try to pace pace it out quite a bit. Woo! Like I wouldn't be surprised if one of the formidable foes was going to be in the trenches down there. That's a, that's honestly what I'm what I'm kind of searching for. Like for one of the formidable foes to be down here in these trenches. Or for something to be down here in these trenches that you, that you can easily overlook, because that's something that you can easily overlook. Like you, you you're not paying attention to the trenches because you're you're trying to get through the battle and get off the this, this no man's land. You're trying to get from here. 
if you don't know the the history behind that that saying no man's land no man's land was always considered the battlefield between both enemy lines so uh, both enemy lines had like machine guns set up at one side they, they would have on opposite sides of each other's machine guns set up that space in between there was was considered no man's land because every, you you basically you're, you're dead if you go in, in that space oh wow, that, that was a bad shot that was a horrible shot yeah you, you'd be Oh, what the hell? Oh, I thought somebody was, was right here in front of me. Yeah, you're basically dead if you go in between that zone because, like, machine guns are going to just shoot you down. Something's about to happen here. I heard swords stuff, but I, I couldn't lock on nobody. Okay. We have nothing to fear. He's not having a formula foe either. Man. Gotcha. 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 Threw some swords at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen a single po a single form of the foe yet. I ain't worried about you in general, player. Don't know, don't know how he still has stamina to even do anything. Yeah, get him tight though. Seize the Armstrong gun. Who the hell is the Armstrong gun? Hold on. What is this over here? Is that the Armstrong gun up there? Yeah, it is. First of all, like, how is that big guy not a formidable foe? He's a, he's a regular enemy. I don't care about really killing them, but I guess we might as well go ahead and kill them. Of course, now I got no stamina. I'm trying to make sure everybody can focus on him. Oh my gosh. Why am I so bad at this? There's like, there's four of us. And one him. There's four of us, one him. And he's still alive. Like that, there's no reason that should have took that long. With four of us and one him. All right, let's go up here and take this, take this gun. Hold on. I don't even kind of, I don't even really want to kill everybody, but I also need to get to level. <laughs> It's a little 55 before this is up. I mean, granted, I, I, can, I can do it, uh... Granted, I should be able to do it on the... Uh, when the game is going on, I think. Oh, 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 I wasn't paying attention. I was 
All right, we're done with y'all. Oh, I can, I can summon my horse. Steady now. Keep it together. So you can't. You deal with us. She's the cunt. Where's the head of this gun at? Oh, these two. Oh my gosh. How? I'm so dead. Like, I could I couldn't do anything. I hate fighting him so much because of that. Thanks. Oh my gosh, all my stand was gone. I don't know if he caught me in something or what the hell that was, but I could not reverse a single thing right there. Get up, get up. Come on. I got three heals up. It's crazy. I say he, he should be dead. Bro, you should be dead. Those, those just was real foes. Those wasn't like phone foes. Those was real, de real deal dudes. All right, next. That's probably how this is about to be with all the phone foes. It's gonna be the actual uh, uh, kill shoe retain retainers. See, he's still alive, which is crazy. Why is he not dead? Game not having a ragdoll effect is, is a bad juju too. Cause dudes just fall off cliffs and they just immediately back up running around like nothing just happened. Like bro, you just fell off a cliff 300 feet in the air. Well, well, not even 300 feet, we'll say freaking like 600 meters in the air and you just got back up and walked away like, like literally nothing happened. Your health barely took a hit. And that's probably the bigger part about it, that your health barely took a hit. Oh my gosh. Whoops, I fell off. Yeah, I better kill him. I don't know how my 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 strength is at 99. I don't know how my uh, how I'm not strong enough to the point where he, he's not he, he he should be dead with.
with one stab while they're on the ground like that. Like, brother, you, I, I just put you on the ground and jumped on top of you and stabbed you. You're dead. How are you still alive walking around running? That was so telegraphed, it was crazy. This is also one of those things where all you gotta do is hit the enemy once and you can freaking uh, get some experience from it. Do they, do they get horses too? Oh, they do. So I heard them blow a whistle, but I didn't know what's up. So, so far, we want to we kill two formidable foes. I'm assuming the next tree are going to be up here somewhere. See, somebody got to be stopping us from this bridge. Of course it's you. First of all, how are you still alive? Like, you should be damn near dead. This, this fool was recovering from tuberculosis. I got a stamina. Teleport over here like that. Die. That's free. I gotta find some stuff that makes it so that when people are uh, afflicted with statuses, they're that they're super strong because. That's what I would usually put on, on most of any character I do. I always do status annulments. I always do like paralyzings or poisons or bleeds or something like that. It's always my, my type of build. Like even in Monster Hunter, like it was always my build. I was the, the first Monster Hunter, I was the, the Poison King. And I would have the Chrome Death Razor up oh, right towards the end. But I haven't even fought. I'm still missing some people. Take your time. They must be about to pop up here soon. But I would use like the Chrome Razor, which was a poison grape sword. <laughs> and you can get it to the second version, which was called the Death Chrome Razor. I think that was only in the second game and they made the Death Chrome Razor. And it was like even way more poison. Like the first first most on it was kind of broken with the attack power and stuff, like uh, that, that you could have. Very well. And I would just poison everything to the point where monsters that were poison, I would still poison them. And their whole attribute about that monster has poison. They just want to stay poisoned as long. But I would poison everything, in, including freaking uh, Elder Dragons and stuff. Because I remember when I poisoned the Kirin. Because the Kirin used to be like one of the only Elder Dragons in the first... It wasn't one of the only Elder Dragons, but it was like one of the, it was one of the original Elder Dragons from the first Monster Hunter. And I poisoned his ass. And I was like, yeah, I'm poisoning everything. Very well. I'm poisoning everything. I'm showing... I'm, I'm not. We, we here. All right. So these other two foes have to be up here because I didn't see nobody else. And if if, if it is, then if I, if I if I did miss them, oh well, like I missed them. Because so far the, the formidable foes have legit been these guys, like the main the main uh, Choshu guy, Choshu guys. Who are you? You who kindled the flames of war? <laughs> the fact that we have not been able to fight with that demon. Oh, okay, here we go. Wasted no time. We have not been to fight with that demon hand. Is absolutely. What the f bro shot me from way over there.
I got no stamina. I got no stamina. I'm so dead. Did die. I was on fire. Bruh, are you serious? He, he can grab you so easy, too. Like, he's grabbing me out of everything. Y'all hit him, I wouldn't have to watch myself too much. I'm a, I'm, I am a joke, bro. I am a joke in this game. I always swing too early. I mean, I always push the button too early. Killing me, bro, because like he could be dead if my partners just swing. Like, I don't, I don't need to do a lot of swing, I just, I just need them to swing. Like, when I'm not swinging, they should be swinging. And all these battles could be so much easier that it makes no sense. All they have to do is swing, and they're just not swinging. Like, they're really not helping at all. Could this be the gods at work? Godzra, let's head to the front. Makes no sense how they're still alive. brought his ship around. Please, you must escape to Edo. Never! If I flee now, the Shogun, it's over! But that's exactly what they're hoping for. Should you fall to your enemies here, war will rack the entire nation. But draw your sword for the first time? If you would. You burn with a desire for vengeance. Oh, yep, he drew his sword. This is not over. The enemy's commander has fled. Now is the time. The heavens have granted us our chance. The Shogun's troops are on the verge of retreat. Let's give this. As soon as they give me the option, I'm gonna jump back to the to the coach here. And they're and they're gonna take me back like idiots. So It's crazy that it, it's funny that they're doing this, like they had to, had to wipe them out because the same thing happened to them in reverse, so. Condor, you should fall back. Look after Brunei. I will stand with you. The age of the sword is over. I live by the blade, or not at all. It is the end for us old samurai. Roshi, you 
you and the others must now become samurai for a new age. <laughs> no. Go! <clears throat> Sabrune. Shogunate forces outnumbered the enemy, with the retreat of the Shogun, defeat was at hand. Riding high from its victory, the revolutionist army began its march on Edo. In disarray after their defeat at Tobafushimi, the remnants of the Shogunate army flee to Edo in their commander's wake. Emboldened by their victory, the revolutionist army heads to Edo, intent on delivering the final blow to its enemies. So there's one more battle left. Well, not necessarily one more battle left. There's probably one more battle left, but there's one more trophy before the chapter tree trophy. And that's to like seal the fate of my my bond, my blade twin. But that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate y'all tagging along, and uh, as usual, I'll catch y'all in the next one.